The Sheridan Hawks are ramping up their practice sessions as they prepare for their first game of the season. Yeah, so it's just been kind of the same stuff every single week. Um, still, you know, we're solidifying who's going to be wearing the lineup, what guys are going to play what roles, power play, penalty kill, all those type of things. And then we've been, you know, doing our best to keep the guys occupied off the ice with hikes and just team events. And obviously we're working out three times a week, yoga one time a week. So, you know, it's just been normal schedule for us, just normal type of thing. We're doing everything we can to get ready for the first weekend. And, you know, I feel like our guys are prepared. Off the ice, we've just been doing a lot of team bonding lately, just going over to each other's houses or playing playing Monopoly or just, just doing anything to hang out with the boys, like going axe throwing, just a lot of team building stuff and it's been super fun. Uh, the, team is, the team is looking pretty good. I'm super excited. Um, we got a super gritty group and I'm super excited to hit the ice with these guys. We, uh, we have solidified our leaders for this year already. Um, you know, we'll be announcing it shortly. The team knows who our leaders are, but um, yeah, it's when you got a group of returners that are very slim, um, you know, we knew who our leaders were gonna be coming into the season. We had, had three weeks for the guys to kind of figure out all our new guys who they thought their leaders were. And uh, then the coaches voted on it. So, you know, we have our leaders solidified. We'll have a captain and two assistants this year. So we know who they are and we'll announce them shortly. Really good group of guys last year that showed us the way. So just trying to pass that on. It's going to be a dogfight. It's going to be a battle playing in the frontier. Like, you know, teams are, you know, they got rosters, top six, bottom six, and we know they're, we know what we're looking for. Um, first weekend is always tough because we don't have film on the team that we're playing. So right now we're just doing everything we can to prepare our guys for a dogfight. At the end of the day, like, we're going into every single game is no matter who it is on the clock, um, we're going to go out there. We're going to be prepared for a dogfight, be prepared for a 60-minute battle, and really that's it. The team loads up the bus for their first road trip as they head to Bozeman, Montana to face the Ice Dogs. Have a good weekend, have a great drive up there. Good game. Alright, we'll be watching it from here. I wish I could go this weekend, but as I said, I gotta work tomorrow. Um, just uh, go up there and play well and have fun. And uh, from here on here, I'll be watching online. For the first game of the season, the Sheridan Hawks face off against the Ice Dogs in Bozeman, Montana. The Ice Dogs strike first, lighting up the scoreboard with a breakaway two-on-one goal. In the second period, the Ice Dogs managed to sneak another goal in after a hard-fought battle. Now Bozeman was up 2-0. Hawks light the lamp with their first goal of the season, courtesy of number nine, Caleb Murray. The Ice Dogs respond promptly with their third goal of the game, just minutes later. With five minutes remaining in the second period, the Hawks found themselves on a penalty kill with two players in the penalty box. In the final minute of the second period, 
Bozeman added another goal to the scoreboard, extending their lead to 4-1. At the beginning of the third period, Tanner Freed skated coast to coast and snapped a shot into the net, earning one for the Hawks and bringing the score to 2-4 in favor of the Ice Dogs. The final score for Friday night's game was Ice Dogs 7, Hawks 2. The Ice Dogs led with 47 shots on goal, while the Hawks managed only 17 shots. On the following night, the Hawks faced the Ice Dogs once more, but little did they know the night would prove to be quite a formidable test. There's going to be a penalty here called on the Hawks. I believe that's two minutes on Jackson Call for slashing. The Ice Dogs displayed remarkable precision with their shots, putting the Hawks goalies to a demanding test. On the forward line, Ice Dogs win that. Bryce Sturm keeps it in. Down low, Wilkinson tries to backhand it. Kalia stopped by Oren. Quick shot, goal! Comes up, poor chunk to it. He has it. He has Bodie Shepherds in two on one. Bodie Shepherds, quick shot, score! Blocked down there, and that was Kempa. Nico Kempa. He nice hand eye move, and the Hawks go out for a change. And now they take advantage. Chris Porchankula comes up, quick shot, score! Looks down low. Porchankula has it. Tries to find Bryce, just out of reach. In his feet, shot, score! Stop. Nice try by Oren. Poor chunk. Dylan tries to backhand it in, and that's a goal. The Bozeman Ice Dogs secured a shutout victory with a final score of 6 to 0. Although the Hawks increased their shots on goal from the previous night to 32, up from 17, the Ice Dogs still maintained an impressive 44 shots on goal. While the Hawks may have faced defeats this weekend, they can take solace in the valuable lesson of humility. The Sheridan Hawks will return home with valuable insights to work on in preparation for their first home game against the Helena Bighorns.